Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick bit of radio control news. Now, a couple of weeks ago now, I reviewed this Whoop. This is the Air 65 from Beta FPV. I absolutely loved it and it wasn't just me that fell in love with the thing. Lots and lots of other reviewers did too. And it's unusual for a Whoop to come out and be so universally applauded. Just shows how good that model is. Now, unfortunately, I have given mine away. And I say unfortunately because the guys at Beta FPV have released some new stuff for it. Now, obviously, you can get lots of different spares. You can get things like the frames which are easy to replace you can also get the replacement um, props these are the props that you can get you can get lots of different batteries but the thing i want to talk to you about today is this new thing this is the f4 1s 5 amp 5 in 1 flight controller and this is different from the one that was installed on the uh, air 65 that i reviewed in one critical way and that's because this little antenna here, this actually has an Express LRS receiver in it too. So this is one of the first 1S flight controllers that use a G473 processor. So that's about a 55% increase over an F411. F411 shouldn't really be used, they're a bit old school now, so it's great to see that they're doing that. This weighs only about 3.6 grams for this five in one version. And it includes a 25 to 400 milliwatt VTX and a serially connected Express LRS 2.4 gig receiver too. So the specifications of the flight controller that's on here on this little single board, it's amazing they've managed to fit this much in, is that this has mounting holes of 26 by 26 millimeters. CPU is an STM32 G4. 7.3, six axis gyroscope and accelerometer, black box memory is included, 16 meg on here, voltage and current sensing, five volt BDC, which will output three amps. There's a USB port via this little pin here on the side, SH 1.0 four pin connector, has built in ESC that will continuously deliver five amps. The receiver is a serial Express LRS 2.4, um, only on the five in one version, this one here, and it's running 3.4.2, I think. And what you get on the four in one version that shipped with the original quad was you had the flight controller, the ESC, the on-screen display, and the VTX. This five in one version that's just been released today has the flight controller, ESC, on-screen display, VTX, and the receiver too. ESCs are capable of supporting DSHOT 300 and 600. In terms of the VTX, the output power is 25, 100, 200, 400 and pit mode, 48 channels, smart audio 2 controlled, and you can update the Express LRS receiver using pass-through. You're going to plug your flight controller into your computer, don't connect it to Beta Flight Configurator, but choose the target Beta FPV 2.4 gigahertz all-in-one receiver, and then flash using the Beta Flight pass-through options in the Express LRS Configurator if you want to do it that way. So I just wanted to let you know this was out. This is actually a really cute upgrade for those that either have the Air 65 or who want to build a Whoop. You can easily drop this in and all you gotta do is attach your camera and attach your motors really. Everything else is taken care of. So for those of you that were looking at the Air 65 or maybe even looking at a replacement board for a Whoop that you already have, then this I think is one that I would seriously consider. It seems to have all the stuff that you need and none of the stuff that you don't in a very small, compact, powerful little package. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.